land where time is not measured in weeks or years, but in millennia. A land so steeped and so entangled in history that you can't take a single step without stumbling upon some relics that are always a couple of thousand years old. A land full of culture, myths and legends and bursting with natural beauty. A land of eternal sunshine with endless fantastic roads and the most delicious food you can imagine. And voila, the perfect holiday destination. Especially if you travel on two wheels. We start by heading north from Athens. Greece is a mountainous country and accordingly the roads are very twisty. Breathtaking views open up around every corner, like here for example. We find our first major highlight in Delphi, where the ancient Greeks believed the universe to be centered. They came here to ask the oracle for advice, and they did that for more than 1,200 years, from the 8th century BC until the 4th century AD. Ladies and gentlemen, more than girls. We continue on breathtaking roads and enjoy the sun in our faces and the wind in our helmets. This is the road down to Smokovo Lake. Riding makes hungry, so we park the bikes at one of the cozy little taverns to grab some authentic food. Did I mention the outstanding food in Greece? Thank you, Domenico, for explaining what we're gonna have for lunch today. The roads around here are tiny, narrow and curvy. A washed out bridge requires a detour on dirt, a touch of adventure. The old stone bridge of Pili kinda looks Greek, but much of the scenery up here is more reminiscent of the Alps. Then we arrive at Meteora, a unique and world famous place and one of the major highlights of our tour. Six monasteries perched high up on immense rock pillars. What a phenomenal landscape. Oh, and what a phenomenal picnic! Thanks, Michael! After a wet but interesting rest day ride to Zagoria and the Vikos Gorge, we head south again. The Pindos Mountains are very remote and as off the beaten track as you can possibly get. No other vehicles in sight all day. The road, a little bumpy at times, takes us to this very interesting place. Kipinas Monastery, built into a vertical rock face over 800 years ago. Turgeid Rainer knows his way around here. Now here's the monastery. And provides some interesting background information. Oh, what do you think? Crazy. How Crazy. they build it? Just with stones.
bit further down the road we find yet another beautiful lunch spot. Yes, put up your mask Gabi, it's 2020. Wow, did I mention the awesome Greek food? I think I did, but you just can't praise it enough. Simon, you're happy? Eventually, we get back to the coast and find this beautiful spot. The little cafe right on the beach is crying out to us, take a break here, take a break. And we do. We settle down for the night in Lefkada, a beautiful island on the Ionian Sea. The next morning we leave Lefkada via the unique ferry bridge and continue our ride south. The coastal road is an absolute stunner, riding has never been so much fun. A coffee break in Astakos, right by the water, under the plane trees, basking in the warm morning sun. Oh, life can be so good. Then it's time to leave mainland Greece behind and go to the Peloponnese. Since 2004, this can be done very easily by taking the so-called super bridge. This cable state bridge is almost two and a half kilometers long and is considered to be an engineering masterpiece. Once on the Peloponnese, we immediately head inland to find some stunning mountain roads. Greece is mountainous almost everywhere, you know. come to a small but picture-perfect Greek village in the middle of nowhere. In the center, there's a giant plane tree that has a church built into it, big enough for up to 20 people. What an amazing place! The beauty of the scenery and the variety of the sights and the landscape along our route are breathtaking. Churches and fortresses, picturesque villages with cozy cafeneons and tabernas on every corner. And every curve offers yet another gorgeous view. A rest day in Vitina pretty mountaintop village gives us the chance to spend an adequate amount of time in ancient Olympia. This is where, in 776 BC, the Olympic Games took place for the very first time. A stroll amongst the ruins is awe-inspiring. Back on the road, back to the coast, 
We head to Mani Peninsula, the middle finger of the Peloponnese. Our destination is one of the most spectacular hotels on this tour, which means a lot as all the places we stay at are quite impressive. Spectacular roads along and high above the Mali coast lead us to the caves of Dios, which are also known as... Oh, the underworld! Ooh. Spectacular roads connect spectacular sights as we make our way north from Mani. The origins of the ancient ruined hilltop village of Bathea are shrouded in the depth of history. Today, the old walls and the prominent stone tower guarantee beautiful pictures. The wreck of the Dimitrios has been resting on this beach here since 1981 and has become a very popular selfie backdrop. And even with all the sightseeing, Rainer never fails to find beautiful places for lunch. And gorgeous hotels for the night. One of the most beautiful and unusual medieval towns in all of Greece is Monevasia. The name means single entrance, and that's exactly what you get here. The town is quite young, for Greek standards anyways. It's only about 1500 years old, but it has seen its fair share of action and violence over the centuries. We spend a rest day in the area to take a closer look at the town, and to ride, of course. Once again, the roads we ride on are outstanding, breathtaking, just like our hotel. Wow, look at that. Slowly but surely, two weeks of riding and sightseeing are coming to an end. We have to return to Athens. On the way, we stop and take a look at the giant amphitheater of Epidaurus, 2,400 years old and large enough to hold up to 14,000 spectators. One last lunch in some pretty fishing village, just a bit more seafood and a bit more Greek salad. Who could ever get enough of that? Then we're off to Corinth to take a look at the famous canal. It was in the planning stage for about 2,500 years and finally realized in 1893. It's much too small for modern ships, but for tourist boats, it's just great. Thank you, Greece. It was wonderful. We'll meet again, that's for sure. <laughs>